Hello beautiful, so today we are doing a review and swatches on the Shanexo palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is one palette, well, two palettes in one. Um, so here is the eyeshadow palette. If you want lip swatches, I am doing that in another video just because I don't want to combine two because it's like lipsticks in one video actually takes up a lot so um, I'm gonna keep that in another video but I am going to show you um, the eyeshadow palette this is the look that I've used on this palette and um, so the only colors I've touched is pretty much most of them the only ones I haven't touched are these two shades here I haven't touched those so I don't know what those look like so um yeah the other ones um are really nice so I'm just gonna show you what they look like um on my hand let's just get right into the swatches in the review so this is the first shade so this is the first shade here which is a pretty um skin tone shade that is what the first color looks like the color is a like champagne shade and it's like really pretty it's i did like this and then a swatch so it's pretty pigmented so that's what the second color looks like and that's the champagne shade which is this one so the next one I swatched is like a rose gold shade and that is what I have on my lids here today with another color but this is what the rose gold shade looks like. It's very pigmented so you don't have to worry about like putting tons of it on but that is um, the rose gold one and that is this color here. This color here is more of a mustard color and this one is mostly used for like um, your transition, your transition shade or your, um, where you could do it like all over your eye because it is a light color unless you like pack it on. But, um, yeah, so that one's like more of like a yellow mustard tannish color. This color here is more of a bronzy copper type of color. It's really hard to explain because they're it's a wide variety type of color but it is more bronze more copper that type of idea next color here is this one and this one is more of a moroccan type of shade um that's what i think it is um so it's very warm and it's a like very brownish um so like a warm reddish brown that's what the color is so i hope i explained that very well so this color here it has a purple tone it is has that like shine in it i'm like really trying to twist my arm so you guys can see it it has a, like a purple tone to it but it still has that gold reflex um but yeah, I really like it. It's like a champagne gold reflex in the color. But yeah, I use this color also in my um, lid too. This color here, um, let me show you the pan because it actually has a different color than what it shows on my hand. So this color actually, you would be able to want to, you would be able to have different um like lid colors I'm trying to think like primers like you could use like black primer on this one it would show different if you used a white primer um, you'd be able to use a green primer a blue primer a purple primer and this is what the color looks like it's really hard to see but it has like looks like a greenish gray color and then it has like that reddish purplish type of color i'm not very well explaining me stuff but this is what it looks like it looks like a reddish like a reddish blue purple type of color 
I am horrible at describing colors, but that is what the color looks like. All right, so last color is this like pretty much blackish grayish color. Um, so yeah, that is what that one looks like and this is what it looks like in the pan. It's just like a kind of grayish blackish color and it's kind of like universal. So that is what the blackish grayish color looks like. So those are all what the color looks like. Colors look like and the palette. So these are what all the colors look like in the palette and then you also get the mirror. So if you want to know what my my review is, then please keep on watching. My review is that she made really great colors to use every day. Here, let me cover the mirror. She used very, very great colors. She used very neutral colors that people can wear every day and it's not a palette that like you want to buy it from like a youtuber or celebrity or whatever but like their palettes like colored and it's not like you could use it every day unless you're like that type of person and you could use like colorful days colorful days colorful eyeshadows every day if that's your thing then you do you but i like how she did it shadows are very pigmented and very opaque um and there is five shimmer shadows and four matte shadows and i think she did a good job and i think that if you want to get it um get it because it is limited edition and um the palettes i believe is 14 dollars us and yeah so do i think you should go get it um only if you want to uh get the palette but i think even if you don't even know the person um you can still get the palette like it's a pretty um useful palette i really don't have to say anything bad about it because it's really not a bad palette it's something that i will probably use every day and um yeah so that is all for my review and my swatches so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give me a like and a comment and subscribe if you really like these videos and if you just like beauty videos and just in general so i don't think i have anything else to say but thank you guys for so much for watching for today's video I can't really talk today like I'm just like kind of like everywhere talking but thank you guys so much for watching for today's video and I don't think I have anything else to say to you guys but I love you guys so much and if you want to support her go get the palette but uh that's all so I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye